I'll tell you what, he reads it perfectly. He doesn't just gamble that the ball's going to come up off the top. He can see it's going to happen. We play 80 minutes on a Saturday and that's what everyone sees. But there's so much more to this game than people realise, you know, I'm currently on a two-year contract. After those two years, I don't know where I'm going to be. I might not have a job. You know, I could get injured tomorrow and lose my job. I've got selection issues every week. You know, if I'm playing, if you know, if I need to get better, there's injury worries. You know, there's medication, you know, supplementation, what you can eat, what you can't eat, what you can go out to drink, go out with friends, socialising, and you know, it's it is a worry. You know, wondering where I'm going to be in two years, if I'm going to have a job, is is a worry, and I can't do anything to change that. You know, I'm not in control of my future in that sense so understanding what goes on how much pressure we're under we're all alpha males in this job and that's another thing you know trying to chat to people and say look I need a bit of help here or can I speak to someone it's not necessarily in, in our nature you know it's we have a lot of banter we have a lot of jokes but sometimes people do actually need a hand and it's very hard between a group of friends and a group of lads to say hey look actually you know what Let's just have a chat. Can I just be a bit emotional? Because it's not really typically the male psyche, you know, it's, and with us, as I said, alpha males, it's something even less apparent. And fortunately, it does mean that guys get darker and darker because they just don't speak about it. It's about understanding why I'm down and addressing it, not letting it mellow and just, you know, crack on and suddenly you've, you've been down for a couple of weeks and then everything gets you down and then you're, you're depressed or you're mentally ill, you know, that's how it starts. The way people deal with that pressure it is different, you know, for some people, every, some people just want to get into the team, you know, they haven't played for a couple of weeks, all they're doing is focus on getting into the team, where some people actually, if they're not selected because they're so used to being picked every week and starting every week, that's a different stress and what guys are going through, even though you're a squad of 50 guys, you know, we play for Bath Rugby, we're all different individuals and how you deal with things is completely different, so you could have a squad of guys and there's 10 different things going on and it's not something you can just easily chat to about, you can sort it all out, so you have to look at everyone as an individual and how you speak to someone may be very different to speak to someone else and it's about empathising and saying, look, some people need an arm around the shoulder, some people need to be like, come on, switch on, sw you know, come on, you can do this. And those pressures that do come, which are going to come, you know, I could get injured, I might not get selected, you know, I might come to contract time and the club don't want to keep me. These things could happen and it's about how you deal with them when they do come up. So we as athletes have an addictive personality. Naturally, we're so driven and detail-oriented that we focus everything that we have on this, on our life. You know, like I mentioned earlier, you can't go out, what you eat, how you socialise, your family situation. But when you're driven and when you're focused, when you're so focused on something, it's easy to let things get on top of you and you don't, you don't really address it. When you're doing something, when you're as successful as we are, when you're driven, it's easy to let things slip by and just think, yeah, you know, this is just part of it, it's just part of it. Actually, it's not just part of it and you do need to address these problems.